Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold trading around 1770 in a range between 1700 and 1800. We're sticking by our predictions of $2,000 gold in the next six or eight weeks. We expect to be gold to be trading in 1850, 1860, having broken out of this range by December 1st. So let me give you a couple of thoughts. And we're not big commodity people. We're gradually coming into the view that gold is currency. And so what I'm about to say, if you're a person who follows industrial commodities, ignore what I'm saying. If you're a person who wants to know why gold is going to go up and why the euro is going to fall, here are some fundamental thoughts that I think point us in that direction. First of all, uh, there are four ways that the European crisis is going to benefit gold. The first is that almost all central banks are lowering interest rates and printing money. Things that are infinite, like paper money, eventually are overcome or outperformed by things that are finite, like gold. So these low interest rate so what that means is as banks continue to print money this means that gold becomes more valuable on a relative basis a second aspect of this is that these low interest rates ranging from effectively zero to effectively one and a half percent these low interest rates eliminate one of the fundamental arguments against owning gold or related commodities which is opportunity cost in other words, if I'm getting 8% on the money in the bank and I'm effectively getting zero for holding gold, then it makes less sense for me to be a buyer of gold. But where the interest rates are equivalent, basically zero, or a negative rate of return in the case of checking accounts that are going to be and time deposits that are going to be outperformed uh, by inflation, that means that is an argument to buy gold. Secondly, uh, outside the Eurozone, governments may well decide to do more investment spending, okay, uh, so, and rather than, and more commodity intensive spending. This means building infrastructure in the United States and the UK. What that means is there are commodities that are going to be needed in order to effectively build this infrastructure. And uh, while this doesn't seem to have anything directly to do with gold, uh, it does because this kind of spending ends up benefiting gold buyers. Secondly, countries with big debt may decide to allow a period of rapid inflation. This has happened even in the United States. So higher inflation rates means the price of real assets increase. Now, again, we're not sure this is going to help you if you own copper. But if you own gold, this uh, period of higher inflation, which some governments may tacitly or overtly employ, will result, is another factor, and will result in an increase in the price of gold. Lastly, the fourth reason we expect the euro crisis to benefit gold. The euro breakup will remove uncertainty. Uh, countries will be freer to boost uh, their own internal demand practices. So if you're a German, you'll be able to do the things that benefit Germany without worrying about the big picture. So these are four reasons, four fundamental reasons why we believe that gold is likely to go up as a result of the Eurozone crisis. This is Arnie Waters, aim for the ice flows, not the open water. If you want specific stock ideas for today, please give me a shout on 781-380-8888. Have a super day. Thanks.